Good morning, and thank you, everyone, for joining us on this exciting day. I'm Kent Heyer. I'm Assistant Director of uh, Marketing and Communications, and, and happy to be here. My job today is to just set the table and get out of the way, so let me do that. Um, you're going to be hearing from two people here today from the podium. Uh, Mr. Lee Tiemann is chair of our Board of Governors here at Missouri Western, and then Dr. Elizabeth Kennedy is our president here at Missouri Western. So following Dr. Kennedy's remarks, there will be an opportunity for members of the media here who are present to ask questions, and, uh, and then you'll also have an opportunity to do uh, individual interviews if you'd like after that. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to ask Lee Tiemann to come to the podium. Lee. Thank you, Kent. I uh, appreciate the, the applause, but I know that's not for me. It's, uh, it's for the person that I have the pleasure to, to introduce. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to the beautiful, sunshiny uh, day we have here uh, on our uh, wonderful campus here at Missouri Western State University. As Kent said, I'm the chair of the, the Board of Governors here, and yesterday at our board meeting, we decided unanimously to remove the interim title from interim President Kennedy to name her and enter into a contract with her to be the next president of Missouri Western. As I said, it was a unanimous decision, uh, but that doesn't mean that we, we took any of that lightly. We had a lengthy meeting. Uh, we discussed things from uh, all issues that, that uh, every board member uh, felt important and relevant. And for the last eight months, this has been a topic of discussion. This wasn't something that popped up. Uh, as we had, had said, that basically uh, Elizabeth had a six-month job interview, uh, which we believe is a board that she has has uh, uh, excelled at and not out of the park. When we named her interim president, the board felt unanimously that she was the right choice to be the interim president to lead this university uh, during the times as they were. Uh, and now that has been solidified and we feel even more strongly that she is absolutely the right candidate to lead us into the future. We looked at, at various options, and once it all kept circling back to, we have the best person already here. And so we are thrilled with that uh, and are excited about being able to move forward with this. Interestingly, in our discussions with uh, President Kennedy, what she stressed the most was she just wanted the tools and the support to be able to lead as effectively as possible and to promote uh, initiatives and support our students, support our faculty as best uh, that she can, and removing that interim title was the real key to that. Uh, and so we are, are very, very pleased uh, with that. In her time as interim president, Dr. Kennedy has worked to provide stability for the university in these challenging times particularly by providing the necessary leadership to lead Missouri Western through the current pandemic. The, the protocol that has been established here during the, the COVID situation with our website dashboard uh, it has been just a model program. Uh, Missouri Western and through the leadership here uh, has been just a tremendous example uh, that has been copied by peer institutions uh, and has been a very uh, uh, just tremendous leader in that area where there was no playbook to follow. We needed the, the initiative, the ingenuity, the creativity uh, that, that this campus through our leadership came up with. She has directed the launching of several of the university's new initiatives such as eSports, which we'll be excited to sh uh, with our new arena there and when we can have our, our uh, uh, public ribbon cutting uh, for that and show that off. It's just uh, uh, the vision uh, that with that and implementation of that is just tremendous. Our Gold Fridays and expanded other projects such as our Center for Service. Dr. Kennedy has demonstrated a keen ability to connect with faculty, staff, 
students, and the community as, as a whole. It is quite apparent how deeply she is committed to the mission of Missouri Western for our campus, our city, and our region. Dr. Kennedy became Missouri Western's Vice Provost in January 2020 after being selected through a nationwide search process. In that role, she focused on a number of elements of Missouri Western's strategic plan, the Pathways to Excellence, including strengthening student success, creating new partnerships, and expanding our unique applied learning principles. Before coming to Missouri Western, Dr. Kennedy was Dean of the College of Applied Science and Technology, as well as serving as Interim Dean of the College of Health Professions at the University of Akron. She'd been at the University of Akron since 1997, beginning as an assistant professor of social science. Her administrative experience began as a department chair in 2002. She became associate dean of the College of Applied Science and Technology in 2014 and ultimately becoming the dean in 2016. In that leadership role, she established key partnerships with local industry, and other educational institutions in that region. Her role continued to expand as she added into leadership of the College of Health Professions in 2017. Dr. Kennedy grew up in Kansas City, graduated from Ruskin High School, and still has family in the Kansas City and St. Louis areas. She earned a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Master of Arts in Psychology, graduate certificate in gerontology, which I had to have her explain to me what that was, and doctor of philosophy in psychology, applied cognitive aging, all from the University of Akron. It is my extreme pleasure and honor to introduce to you, for the first time publicly, the new president of Missouri Western State University, Dr. Elizabeth Kennedy. Thank you, Chair Tiemann. Uh, good morning. Um, first, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Chair Tiemann, to our Vice Chair uh, Ebersold, and to the entire Missouri Western Board of Governors for their support and confidence, me, confidence in me to assume the role of President of Missouri Western State University. I embrace that confidence in me and my leadership as an opportunity to perform to lead Missouri Western forward with clear direction and sure purpose. Missouri Western has a long and proud tradition of delivering high quality education to students. And this was abundantly clear to me from the moment I joined the Griffin family. I have been incredibly impressed by the level of dedication, expertise, and talent demonstrated by our faculty and our staff across such a variety of domains. And most importantly, from day one, I have witnessed the great value our university places on our students. The care, the nurturing, the relentless focus on their success in and out of the classroom. That is the cornerstone of our work. Our mission says it all. Missouri Western State University is a state-centered learning community preparing individuals for lives of excellence through applied learning. Becoming part of the Griffin family has truly felt like a homecoming for me. I have been welcomed and supported by so, so many folks here, which has meant so very much to me. And that warm welcome and strong support, however, has extended beyond our campus boundaries to the St. Joseph community, of which I am also very proud to be a member. And importantly, also, from the entire region, from business, industry, community members and leaders, and our elected officials. The overwhelming support that I have witnessed for Missouri Western and what we are doing has been tremendous. And I am very appreciative of that as well. I am eager to continue building those relationships, building partnerships, and establishing stronger collaborations for the betterment of both Missouri Western and our entire community. Finally, I cherish this appointment as both an honor 
and an obligation. That my work as president will be to ensure that our mission of being an open access applied learning institution with strong focus on high quality technology-based and professional degree programs remains vibrant and tangible. That is, to provide the life-changing, transformational impact that higher education can have on individuals, their families, and our community. To move Missouri Western State University forward with clear direction and sure purpose. That is our work in which I am both eager to be leader and participant. Thank you. Great question, Marcus. Thank you. That was a great start. I think higher education right now is in a process of evolution, and I think um, probably started before the pandemic, but certainly been encouraged and spurred forward with that. Um, one of the things that I've seen is, is for higher education to survive, we do need to evolve. And one of the things we have to do is to reach down into our K-12 system and make sure we're getting students and bringing them up sooner through uh, initiatives such as Early College Academy, but we also have to look forward and, and go for the folks that have been out of high school, didn't go to um, college and are in need of a career, as well as people that are changing careers, stopping out, coming back, and those kinds of things. I see higher education as really being more infused with the business industry community partners than it's ever been, because I think it really does take all of our efforts to promote um, educational opportunities. I see the role of Missouri Western particularly as critical to workforce development, what we're doing in our region, and how we can provide the highly skilled, highly trained workers that we need um, to meet the demands of our employers in the region. Um, well, I, I will share this. I have had a few interim roles in my uh, current career. I've been interim dean, interim associate dean, and I'm present, and as I mentioned to Chair Tiemann when they first offered me the position, I've never viewed interim as anything other than an adjective. Um, I'm not a placeholder, I tend to get to work. Uh, and I was thinking about this when I was on my way in. When people ask you, what do you do as president or a dean or a department chair, you just pretty much say everything. I, I just go to work and do what I know is best. I am very fortunate I have a strong cabinet, a strong leadership team, and, and a dedicated faculty and staff that makes it easier to do what we need to do. Um, but interim has never meant anything to me other than an adjective. Well, I think probably the largest challenge was um, dealing with the pandemic. You know, if you think about it, and, and I mentioned this to, uh, to folks that when I'm talking, you know, the, the pandemic has really tested our tolerance for ambiguity. You know, we're right now in February planning for fall, for August. Um, what is that going to look like? If you think back to July, what was this fast fall going to look like? And keeping the, the campus both safe, open, operational, engaging for our students, um, both on the academic side as well as the collegiate experience side, um, that was a huge challenge dealing with that. Obviously, then, that leads itself into how do you deliver education that you have been doing for years face-to-face -face in traditional formats, how do you make sure that that meets student needs, demand, and is also high quality, and how do we protect Well, it's been a point of discussion since the beginning. I mean, you're uh, as uh, Dr. Kennedy said, uh, she did not view herself as a placeholder. Uh, there may have been some initial uh, view on that, certainly, because we had to see how that was going to play out. But it's been a point of discussion for, for several months. Uh, have, have interacted and sought uh, input from various uh, stakeholders here, whether it be faculty, uh, staff, students, <clears throat> alumni, the, uh, the community as a whole, and universally the, the support for the job she was doing uh, was there, uh, demonstrated by the, uh, the number of calls and uh, 
uh, text I received last night. It's unfortunate that because we would have had an overflow crowd here today. The, the excitement uh, was there. Uh, the, the question I got the most uh, in the last couple of months was, when are you going to do this? Why haven't you done this yet? I said, this is the singular most important job of the Board of Governors. Our job is not to micromanage. We are not in the business of higher education. We do not understand all of the unique aspects of that. We come with different backgrounds and come to this all with the, with the commonality of, of a love for Missouri Western and for this, this community, and it's to collectively come up with what we think uh, is the, the right person to lead us. And the interaction that we have had with uh, uh, Dr. Kennedy during that time, it, it just became a, a matter of time. Uh, for everyone that's asking me why now, I've got more or, or had more questions of why wasn't it, it sooner. So uh, we did feel it was the right time. It, it, it was, uh, uh, as we look forward to next academic year, as the planning is being done for that, uh, we felt like it, it gave her uh, the right tools now to be able to move those, those plans forward. Uh, we, we talked about it a lot because this is a decision that, that we do not take lightly. Uh, this is our, our uh, top responsibility. There are no guarantees in life uh, with anything, but we felt this was the right person uh, the right time, and the, the six months uh, that, that she had uh, uh, served as interim president uh, certainly uh, uh, pushed us way past the decision line on uh, what the future is. I had alluded to uh, the protocols that were developed here on, on campus uh, with the, the, uh, the dashboard, the, the, the uh, regularly scheduled updates uh, of, of testing and, and the numbers uh, of positives and, and uh, other uh, information was readily available. Uh, her leadership uh, pushed for uh, uh, getting early testing in here. Uh, you know, as evidenced by uh, what our athletic teams were, were able to, to do, the partnership uh, uh, with elected officials, but also with private industry uh, to really ramp those, those things up. But it kind of ties back to some of the, the three or, or three, th three key things that are, that are pretty interrelated that when we were, were discussing her is that Dr. Kennedy is a connector a unifier and a healer, and we needed some healing here. And she has a unique skill set and personality that is bringing people together. Uh, we've had some tough times. You know, we have uh, had financial issues to deal with that we're still dealing with. We have cut programs that were dear uh, to a lot of people. It has impacted people personally that we care about: faculty, staff, students. These are our friends, our family, it's our community members, uh, things that we believe needed to be done, but doesn't make them less difficult. And with Dr. Kennedy at the helm, we have seen clear direction of trying to bring all those groups back together. It doesn't happen overnight, but in six months, we have seen uh, just tremendous movement and growth in those areas, and we think that's even going to uh, increase exponentially now that the interim tag is, is removed from her, and she will have a, a three-year contract uh, to, to lead us and move forward. Those are things that are, that are, that are talked about all the time. Even when, when cutting's going on, there's always discussion of how, how do we... Uh, we build. Uh, one of the comments, or I almost should say, a, a, uh, it's more than a slogan, more of a mantra of, of Dr. Kennedy, is she says, you cannot cut yourself, or you cannot cut to uh, success. We had to do cuts to get healthy, but the ultimate goal is to, to build back. Uh, it may not look exactly the same, but yes, the, the goal and the work uh, that that we are all trying to work together on is to 
get enrollment back to numbers that we feel are more appropriate for our university uh, to add programs that are sustainable, that make sense for uh, job creation, is to work towards all those things, but we had to we have to heal and then grow. But yes, uh, we don't have a specific time frame with that, but I can tell you that uh, every time I talk to uh, Dr. Kennedy and, and her team, uh, what my plans and dreams are, theirs are bigger. They're very a ambitious uh, with that. And uh, the future for Missouri Western uh, in this community is, is tremendously exciting, and it got a lot better today. Thank you all. I appreciate everyone, uh, everyone being here. It's a, it's a celebration. We look forward to we can have a true reception for this when we can have everybody back on campus and celebrate all the wonderful things that we have here, our, our students, our activities, uh, and, and everything. But, but I do appreciate uh, everyone being here to, to uh, participate in, in our excitement. Thank you. <laughs>